guys, it's Andy here from dreamworks.co.uk and I'm just going to be showing you how to create your own web 2.0 button. So it's going to open up Photoshop, make a new document and just set it to the default Photoshop size. Unless you have a, pre like a preferred size in which you can use that. Um, okay, create a new layer. And now we're just going to go into our shapes here. And we're going to select round edge triangle, select radius 10 pixels. Hold down shift and draw um, a perfectly square shape. Okay, so this is it here. Off, if you want to change your color, you can do so now. Um, oops, where's that gone? You can change it whatever you want. You can make it. Um, I'll make mine in blue. And then just fill. Okay, and now we're gonna double click to bring up. Oh, well, actually, first we're gonna make a new layer. Control or Command click on this here, and that selects it. And then we're going to go to our elliptical marquee tool. We're going to hold down Alt and Shift, and then we're just going to drag over it like so. And now we can create a reflection or a highlight on the top of a button to really give it that Web 2.0 feel. Okay, so now we're going to go to a gradient tool. Set white as your foreground color. And select this one here, white like foreground uh, transparent is the name of it. Hit OK. Hold Shift and drag down. And then once you get it right, you can deselect. OK. Now it's going to double click on this to bring up the layer style panel. Now we're just going to play around until we get the look we want. For example, you could use bevel and emboss, put the depth right down, um, put a drop sh shadow on there, and again, move the opacity down, move the distance down. You don't want to go over the top of the effects, just play around with them until you get something you like. I'm going to use the gradient tool, I'm going to turn the opacity right down. Okay. Um, and then, but pretty much it. You could go into more deal, you could use the satin um, uh, filter or layer style and you could adjust that to add like different effects and whatnot. But I'm just going to leave it like this. You might want to add an inner glow and the inner glow should probably be just, well you can have any colour you want but I'm going to set it a slightly darker colour than the actual uh, color of the button. Now I'm going to set that to normal, like so. Let's set a choke. There we go. So this is the button so far. Now you can add text, so whatever you like. Um, okay, I'm going to open up my text tool. I'm going to type in the text I want, whatever font you want. Double click to bring up a layer style on my text and hit inner shadow. And then from there, I'm just going to bring the distance right down, like so. Hit gradient overlay, put the opacity right down. Um, what else can we do with this? And that's probably that's probably just about it. You could uh, put a color overlay of uh, gray, and then reduce the opacity so it looks like this. But that's completely optional. So just play around with the layer styles and then get the effect that you want. Okay, and that's how to make a web 2.0 button.